Hi friends, Amy Love here, and let me just start off by saying my allergies are absolutely exploding right now. <laughs> but I really wanted to craft this project, and I thought it'd be fun if I took you along with me, so I apologize right now for the seizing and the stuffy nose and all the things. <clears throat> I'm going to decorate this cute little box that Doreen gave me, and um, I am going to use my scraps of Ooh La La Vintage Treasures uh, digitals, I think I'm going to be using uh, the Pink Parfait Cafe and the Snippets of Love to do the box because I need this little box to hold my Age of Dream Crafts Kib Bling. So I also created this little snippet roll that is just covered in little snippets of Age of Dream Craft embellishments. So cute. And that is what's going to be on the top of the box. So cute. But I'm going to decorate the inside and around the outside with uh, Doreen's beautiful digitals. And I love these postcards from the Pink Parfait Cafe kit. So that's going to go in my lid. So when I open it, that's what I see. And this is going to go in the bottom. I just think they're so cute. So I toyed about... I toyed around with how is it going to put the bits in, and I think I've decided on decoupage. Uh, but of course, it's glued shut, so I'm going to have to use my heat tool to <laughs> open the lid, which I have to do that a lot. I mean, you know, it's glue. It gets glued shut. It's just the thing, when you use your heat tool, you gotta make sure you move it all around so it doesn't melt anything. And it is gonna heat this lid up, so that lid's gonna be nice and toasty, so be careful. Oh, almost there. Yes. All right, works like a champ. Okay, what did I do with the brush? Okay. I have a horrible brush game. My brushes all look like this because I mostly use the brushes for Mod Podge and Gesso, so they just get crazy. But I mean, it just it doesn't matter when you're uh, going to decoupage the thing. It just doesn't matter. So I don't want to use too much because I don't want it to make this too wet. I don't want lumps. I don't want lumps, so I don't want a lot sitting there. So we're going to go with that. And I meant to put gloves on, of course. The gloves are sitting right next to me. And I did not put them on. Yeah, that sounds right. So I'm going to press that down. And I don't know yet if I am going to actually decoupage over the top. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to blow my nose. So I'll be right back. Okay, friends, my allergies were just too bad that day for me to continue uh, filming. <laughs> it was just, or, or talking through the filming anyway, it was just bad. So uh, now here we are. I'm going to do this voiceover for you. And I did speed it up a little bit just so I could uh, hopefully get it uploaded. But anyway, you can see that I got the postcards inside and I managed to get my gloves on. And I did end up putting a really thin coat of decoupage over the top of those postcards as well. And now I'm just going to use um, scraps of Doreen's digital kit uh, to wrap around the box. And these are prints on paper because cardstock would be a little um, stiff for me to wrap around the box and uh, paper's just easier. So I'm making sure to use a very thin coat of decoupage because I don't want any lumps or wrinkles. Uh, on my paper and I am not taking off the hardware for this I'm just going to decoupage right around it <laughs> so these hinges on the back uh, this strip of paper fits right underneath and it still opens just fine so I'm not worried about it so I am trying to make sure that any seams that I have I will place on the back of the box um, because, you know, I don't want seams on the front of my box. But on the front of the box, I'm actually going around the hardware and not um, under it. I don't think it'll matter much. 
So I'm just gonna get these uh, scraps decoupaged in and then we'll see what, what's next. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the snippet roll to the top of the box. So I'm just kind of cutting it to fit. And I, I love snippet rolled covered everything. <laughs> so it's so cute. So I'm just gonna hot glue that right down to the top of the box and that will be just fine. So I'm gonna do the middle first and then I go around and get the edges um, after I get the middle all down where I want it to be. And we're just going to add two strips and then I still have some extra so I'm excited to use that too. Who doesn't love a snippet roll? The only thing is if you have anything on your snippet roll that is directional, like I have that, that crown and that button are definitely facing a certain way. So you kind of want to keep that in mind about where you're gluing it down on your piece. So things don't look upside down. So cute. And now we'll just trim off the extra bits. Be careful not to cut that bow. I don't mind some of the um, extra bits, you know, it gives it a little more of a shabby feel and I am for that, but I don't want big overhang. All right, so now I have printed this little piece out of the uh, Snippets of Love kit and then I sewed around the edges and inked it and now I'm gonna pop that on the top. I just think that looks so sweet. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. I mean, it's already adorable. But now I am going to cut off another piece of that snippet roll and add it to the top. Just love it. I love those big wooden buttons from Kim's shop. But before I put that down, I decided I needed to cover. You see how the postcard doesn't go all the way across the box? Well, I have this beautiful, like textured uh, fabric that I got in my um, Precious Bits kit from Doreen. I just love that kit, Doreen. It keeps giving. I mean, I am using that kit for so long on so many projects, but the, I thought this would look pretty on either side just to give a little more um, texture. And I love the softness of that little, little snippets, cuteness. And now I can just put that right there. I just want to make sure not to cover up that little Eiffel Tower stamp because it's adorable. Adorable. Love it. Okay, now let's add some trims. And you know how much I love an eyelet. So here's a little a gathered scallop eyelet that'll just be so sweet on the top of this box. So I'm starting it all the way over at the hard hardware but not going over the top of the hardware. We're just gonna kinda work around the hardware on this box. Sometimes I take the hardware off, depends on the project, but for this one, it just wasn't necessary. And it's just cute.
Right now we're gonna add on some pearl trim. I, lately I've been putting pearl trim on everything. It's like I go through phases between the pearl trim and the rhinestone cup chain. I am loving the pearl trim right now. <laughs> so per, flat back pearls is what we're going with. And I think it gives such a sweet touch to this cute little box. I've decided not to cover the bottom of this box. Um, you know, sometimes I do and sometimes I'll put on feet, but since this box is for me and I know exactly where I'm putting it, I really need it to be flat and be able to stack on top of stuff. So the flat back uh, is going to be the finishing touch. So I hope you loved this little tutorial and I'm sorry about the, uh, <laughs> the allergies of the first three minutes of this video. Uh, thank goodness I'm feeling better. But please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Follow the links below to both Doreen's um, Etsy and Kim's Etsy where you can get all these fabulous things and make some beautiful things for yourself. And I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everybody.